Did you know that the Universal Orlando Resort uses 1136 trees to decorate for the holidays? He has no idea how many trees there are. He is a legend. I bet you also don't know everything that's happening in the parks this year for the holidays, but lucky for you, in about eight minutes, that will all change. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. While you're gonna find Christmas decorations in pretty much every land and every nook and cranny, the majority of the holiday festivities here in Islands of Adventure is taking place in two lands, starting with Seuss Landing. The holidays at Universal begin on November 12th and run all the way through January 1st. And the biggest part of the holidays is of course Grinchmas, which happens right here in Seuss Landing. One of our favorite parts of Grinchmas is the characters that wander the streets of Seuss Landing, like of course the Grinch. The storybook Grinch was actually just out in front of the bookstore right over here. And there's a different Grinch that comes out for Christmas time. He's a little bit more realistic and looks like the Jim Carrey version of the Grinch. And a team member actually just told us that his meet and greet this year is gonna be in the closed down part of Honk Honkers, the candy store, which is the place where you used to be able to get the cotton candy that was like the size of these lollipop trees, but the biggest part of Grinchmas is the Hula Day Spectacular, which is a live retelling of The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. It, of course, stars the mean one, the green one himself, with all kinds of fun singing and dancing. Last year, this was held in the Blue Man Group Auditorium, and we would assume that that's where it's gonna be again this year. Like most seasonal festivities, they do have some extras for Grinchmas that are gonna cost you a little bit more money. And the first one is the Grinch and Friends character breakfast. That takes place right here in Circus McGurkis Cafe Stupendous. And it's basically just a breakfast buffet where you get to hang out with the Grinch. There are gonna be some Who's from Whoville and even his dog, Max. Look at his adorable little dog house they have here. Now they only have the character breakfast on select dates and you can purchase those tickets online. For anyone 10 and older, those tickets are gonna be $41.99 per person and they're gonna be $26.99 for anyone age three to nine. <laughs> there is one more paid extra that you can get for Grinchmas and that is the holiday tour. It's basically like a holiday version of the VIP tour. You get all kinds of fun extras with that, like an exclusive Grinch and Max meet and greet. You get reserved seats for the Hula Day Spectacular, so like priority seats, the best seats in the house. There's food over in Circus McGurkis that you get to enjoy some small plates like Hoo Hash, cookies, they even have a hot cocoa bar. You get to meet Santa and you get an after hours showing of the Hogwarts Christmas light show. You heard that right, a light show is returning to the Hogwarts Castle and that is the magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Castle light show. We really need to work on the names of the shows and make them a little bit easier to say, but we absolutely love the show because it's so magical. That's not the only thing going on here in Hogsmeade, so you will have a holiday overlay for the Frog Choir, but our favorite thing has to be just the decorations here in Hogsmeade, because if there's one place in the parks that's made for Christmas decorations, it's Hogsmeade. Fortunately for all of us, the seasonal festivities do not stop once you exit the parks. Out here in City Walk, Mistletoe Pines will be making its return for this second year. We don't have much information about Mistletoe Pines. It's basically just a pop-up, but if it's anything like last year, there'll be some seasonal food, merch, and beverages. Mistletoe Pines isn't the only place in City Walk where you can stay in the holiday spirit. A lot of the restaurants like to do a seasonal offering or two, and we can't wait to see the kind of milkshake that Tussums offers this year and the special donut that Voodoo has in store for us. Here in Universal Studios, the main part of the holiday celebration is the holiday parade featuring Macy's. This parade is scheduled to run every single night of the event, but we're not exactly sure what times that'll be just yet. You can check Universal's mobile app to see what time it's running when you're here. But the parade will start over on Hollywood Boulevard. It'll go past Schwab's Pharmacy before it comes up the main drag here right by Jimmy Fallon's. Then it'll pass us right where we're standing by the mummy before making its way back towards Mel's. 
Personally, our favorite place to watch the parade is right here in front of Revenge of the Mummy. You've got the Christmas tree as a backdrop and it is absolutely gorgeous. But we do suggest that you get here at least 30 minutes before the parade is scheduled to run because people start getting here, it starts filling up. And if you don't get here early enough, you won't be able to see what's going on. So either before or after the chaos of the parade, you are gonna wanna make sure you come over here and check out the Tribute Store. There's not even like a facade and they really haven't announced anything, but the Tribute Stores keep getting better and better. So we are really excited to see what they put in there. If you want our expert opinion, we have heard that they are probably gonna put a Christmas in this year's store. Just like we talked about over in Hogsmeade, there are some shows here in Universal Studios that do get a Christmas overlay. A great example of that is the Blues Brothers. It is so much fun to come to the streets of New York that are decorated for Christmas and hear the Christmas music. But our absolute favorite is Celestina Warbeck and the Banshees. We love this show year round, but the holiday overlay is just something special. It probably doesn't hurt knowing that they have like a little effect here in Hogsmeade where it actually snows during her show. Tyler said that he thinks Hogsmeade is the prettiest during the holidays and it's gorgeous but I personally think that Diagon Alley takes the cake especially here at night. So now that we got over here I I agree so I think it just depends on where we're at. <laughs> Whichever like, one we're in that's the winner. That kind of does it for the holidays here in Diagon Alley. The only other thing that I can think about is hot butterbeer, which used to be a seasonal item. It is available year round now, but fingers crossed we get some days in November and December where we actually want to drink a hot butterbeer. I just realized how much red I was wearing, but we would be terrible people if we didn't mention the seasonal food, which is one of our favorite things about any of the seasonal events that they have here at Universal. And the Christmas food is always one to be enjoyed. You've got milk and cookies, you've got all kinds of things, and over in Islands of Adventure, you've got everything that's themed to the Grinch. It's just a wonderful time. The one thing that I request, last year, y'all may remember, there was a, like a sugar cookie crepe. I just want a seasonal crepe, guys. It's not that hard. Give me a seasonal crepe. If you just so happen to be visiting Universal on December 3rd and 4th, or the 10th and 11th, you do get the pleasure of experiencing a Mannheim Steamroller concert here on the Music Plaza stage. And the best part is you don't have to buy any kind of extra ticket to get in. It doesn't cost you a penny more. So make sure you come over here and check that out. And just like that, you're prepared for the holidays here at Universal Orlando, except you haven't done any Christmas shopping yet. But you know what the perfect gift is this year? Tater Tots, and if you want to know everything there is to know about Tater Tots, check out this video right here. Thanks for hanging out, guys, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>